Happy Wednesday, everyone. I'm back on my couch. I'm back in Albury and I am back from Melbourne. And I just wanted to fill you in on what I've been doing in Melbourne because a lot of people were following along on my Instagram, uh, quite curious and excited at uh, what I've been doing. And, and that's what I thought I'd delve into tonight. So it was all about brand image development. So what is that? Because most people thought I was just shopping. But they're two really different things and I want to teach you some really exciting things that I've learned, why it's so important and why it's a non-negotiable for me. So personal brand image development. So I'm going to teach you some things that I taught that changed my mind. So hi, Tarina. Harvard University did a study that said that you make 11 decisions about someone within the first seven seconds of watching them. Let's just recap, 11 decisions you make within seven seconds of meeting someone. So that's what I learned from the team at Colette Word in Australia. And that's why I've been working at working with them. I mean, that's crazy. So you might be the right person for a job. You might be trying to win a big contract. You might be trying to get a promotion. But if those seven, 11 decisions that are made within those 11 seconds aren't in your favor, then you're not doing yourself any good. So this is what all personal brand imaging is about. And this is why I basically work with the best in the business to make sure that my personal brand is right on point. So if somebody is meeting me for the very first time and they're making those 11 decisions, before I've even had a chance to talk to them, they've decided if they trust me, they've decided if I am who I say I am, if I'm the same person they see on social media. They've decided if they feel like they can, you know, as far as if I'm bisexual, if I'm straight, if I'm honest, if I'm, all of those things are decided in that first seven seconds. So this is what personal brand imaging is all about. So I wasn't shopping, I was doing a personal brand imaging development session. So what does that mean? Hi KP, hi Hachi. So, I have a personal brand. Everybody has a personal brand. If you don't think you have a personal brand, look in the mirror, that is your personal brand. So the question is, when you go outside and you're in the public eye, do you look exactly the same as your personal brand? Are you portraying exactly those qualities of your personal brand, yeah? And this is what this is all about. So my shopping trip, if you wanna call it my shopping trip, was not about fashion, it had nothing to do with fashion. It was all about making sure I had authentic looks that made sure that when people met me, those 11 decisions that they made in the first seven seconds were exactly what I needed them to be. So for me, it was really important to be one, be authentic. Okay, so I don't wanna look like somebody else, I don't wanna look like something that's not me. So, you know, if you saw me with bows or flowers or frills, you would think that doesn't look like the Peter that I know, you wouldn't trust me, yeah? If I was wearing something inappropriate, you wouldn't trust me. And so that is what it is all about. So it was about creating authentic looks and making sure that I was congruent, okay? So what does that mean? Congruent means that every time you meet me, you see me, every time, sorry, Gizzy's a bit sided today, Every time you meet me, every time you hear me speak, you see my social media, we have a meeting, we talk on the phone, every single part of that is congruent. So if you see me and I'm this, hey Bonfield, how are you? Every time you meet me, if I'm a different person and then you meet me in person, I walk out into a meeting and I'm wearing clothing that doesn't represent everything that you know about me, then you're not gonna trust me. Even though you might consciously not make that decision, that's something that you might just happen in the back of your head, that gut feeling when you meet someone. You'd feel confused because you'd say, hey, I thought I knew who Peter was and then she walked out wearing this clothing that just wasn't her. And that's what it's about. It's got nothing to do with fashion. It's got nothing to do with trends. It's all about making sure that I'm 100% authentic I'm representing my personal brand and when that you meet me, whether it be in the shopping center, at work, on the weekends, wherever it is, I'm 100% on key for that. So for me, 
Oh, and let's be honest, it's a ton of fun. I've done it twice this year. I'll probably do it once next year. So it was a little bit of a, a working holiday for me. I had a ball and it felt like I got to, you know, spoil myself in a work environment. And you know what? That's sometimes the perks of working hard. But it's the philosophy behind it that I'm so interested in. To think that somebody has decided whether or not they trusted me from the clothes that I walked out in, that just blows your mind. It has nothing to do with fashion at all. And that's what it was all about. So if you're really interested, you know, it's a bit of a process. I've done a lot of work with this team at Colette Word and they helped me with my website, my brand image audit, um, my personal development sessions, a whole heap of stuff. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, they help me push the limits a little bit in my fashion as well because a lot of people contact me and they say, Peter, why would you do that styling session? You, you know, you have pretty good fashion sense. You always look nice. It has nothing to do with fashion. It has nothing to do with styling. But what it has to do is, is making sure that every time you see me, I'm creating and you can see that brand that I am. And let's just talk about personal branding a little bit. This isn't just for entrepreneurs or business owners. This is for everyone. Everyone is a personal brand. If you're alive, you're a personal brand. This could be from you picking up the kids to having a, a PNC meeting at school to going to your local netball club and being on the committee. It's all about everybody making those decisions before they've actually had a chance to get to know you. Hi, AH, thanks for your wardrobe. And remember, AH, wardrobe is available for you to borrow at any time. But of course, only if it's on your brand. But AH and I are both kind of shark personality, so I know there's gonna be a little bit there that we can definitely incorporate into your wardrobe. So, and then I'm a home brand. You know what, Bonfield? I um. I'm a little bit of home brand too. I'm kind of buy some expensive items, but I love to have my nice basics as well. You can't go past Kmart sometimes for some good basics. So I want you to have a think about that. Have a think about, and, and you know, a really good exercise is have a look at a photo of someone. So you've got two people, the same person, okay? The same person in different clothing. They might have exactly the same resume. One is dressed a bit, a bit kind of frumpy, their shirt's out, they just haven't done their hair nice, they, you know, they have no pride in their appearance. The other person, you know, they, they're looking sharp, they're feeling on point, they're beaming with confidence because they know that they're representing who they are as a person. If they've got exactly the same skill set, exactly the same personality, it's a no-brainer who you're gonna pick. And, and this isn't me just making this up, this is what this team at Colette Worden taught me. 11 decisions you make within seven seconds. Here's a classic one. You can see I'm wearing a V-neck now, and for those that know me, know that I often wear V-necks because it opens up my heart center so that people feel really welcomed when they meet me. If I'm wearing a top and it was up to here and you couldn't see anything, automatically in clothing, that's the same as me going like this, crossing my chest. Isn't that amazing? Something so simple as wearing a high collar is like this embodied language. And automatically, if you meet me and I'm like, you just made a few decisions right there. And also shopping's a waste of time. So if it means twice a year, I get to do it all with the brand image specialist to make sure that it's on point, we smash it out within two days and I don't shop again for the rest of the, for the year. I know my time could be spent a little bit in different places that are more effective. So yeah, it's about being congruent. It's about making sure that you're making the impact that you wanna make, yeah? Like imagine if you've got that big job interview, but you're not feeling really good in what you're wearing or you're wearing something that just doesn't look like you, then you're not gonna be truthful to yourself. And even if that other person can't put their finger on it, the interviewer is gonna know something's just a little bit off. It's that gut instinct. Ah, oh, that's why I can't stand high necks. Yes, AH, another one is I often have my forearms open. I often have my chest open, I'll often have my forearms open. Just little tips and tricks along the way. And they're definitely the type of things that with, with what I wear. And you know, for, for my brand image, it's definitely not 
traditional corporate at all, uh, which is really kind of a lot of the reason I've brought in a brand image because it, as much as I try and, um, you know, disrupt my industry and push the boundaries, I have pushed the boundaries quite a lot in what I wear, but they still help me to push it even more and say, Peter, that your brand is stronger than this. Go out there and, you know, you can wear like a super trendy t-shirt to work with, you know, tailored pants and really rocking high heels, where when I used to work at law firms, they would kick me out the door if I wore that. However, it's congruent with my brand. People don't look twice because I look like I say, I talk, I walk, I do it all the same. So really don't um, underestimate personal branding. You don't have to go to the full extent of I have, uh, but it's different for me. I've been in business for 10 years now and personal branding is really important to me. And as I said, I love it. So it's a chance to spoil myself. But even if you're a stay-at-home mum, have a little think about it. I want you to put down 10 words that you want people to think about yourself, okay? So they may be trustworthy, uh, kind, down to earth, intelligent, professional, whatever it is, you write down those 10 things. Then tomorrow morning, when you get dressed, I want you to look in the mirror and look at yourself. And don't just think about, I'm wearing this because of this reason. I want you to look at yourself and go, do I, does someone get those 10 things when they meet me? And you know what, even if you're wearing your active wear, think about it, you know? Because you can still in your active wear be thinking those things. If you're wearing an active wear t-shirt that says, bite me, pretty sure people aren't gonna think that you're approachable. So if that's in your 10 words, we might need to change the shirt. <laughs> I wear a uniform. Okay, Bonfield, you wear a uniform. How do you do your hair and makeup? If you get time to write that, have a think about that, Beth Bonfield. So you wear a uniform. So how do you do your hair and makeup? Do you bother doing makeup? Is it an environment where you don't want to do makeup? You know, what do you wear when you're out of your uniform? Do you know what I mean? It's all of those things that you can think about. And because too many times we think it's just about turning up at the office or it's just about turning up somewhere or just looking nice. But the studies from Harvard University, I learned it from Colette Worden and the team. I wanna make sure that when people are making those decisions about me, that they're exactly what I need. Because it doesn't matter how good you are up here, doesn't matter how good your business is or how many traits you have, if people are making those decisions, it's bloody hard to fight back and make sure that they are getting your message across how you need it. So that's what my fun two days in Melbourne was about. It was exhausting, absolutely exhausting. It's an amazing experience. I hope you all get to do it one day. Um, when we say shop till you drop, I am not kidding. Uh, there's champagne, but there's also chocolates and Coke to keep me going. I literally try on clothes for about five hours, absolutely straight. And then, because shopping is a complete waste of time and it's not about fashion, the next day what they do is they create these lookbooks for me. And if you saw on my social media, they will then create an email lookbook for me. So when I get up in the morning, I look at my lookbook and I go, I'm gonna wear that. Why? Because I got more productive things to do with my brain than worry about what I'm gonna wear to work. So shout out to Dee Carla Collette from Collette Word in Australia. I love what you do. I am so glad that they have supported me. Um, I really want you guys to have a think about this. It doesn't need to be an expensive process. Bonfield, good point. I don't wear jewelry safety. Don't wanna get mugged, but shoes polished, clean clothes, hair always and light makeup, exactly. So people can probably go, yes, she has to wear a uniform, but she's taking pride. Her shoes are always polished. She always looks nice and neat hair always up and light makeup in your job is perfect. You don't want to be over the top in your type of role because you, uh, yeah, obvious reasons. But exactly, so you're thinking about it and you're thinking about what you wear. Gang, that is Wednesday. Now, if you're wondering why Gizmo isn't on the couch, he is way too hyperactive after I have been away for a few days. I tried to get him to settle down, but he's actually just sitting here next to me. Um, and he has been going non-stop with the ball the whole time. And thankfully, he hasn't knocked my light down. So I've got a really fun confession for you. After that whole speech I've just given you, I was, um, as some of a couple of people close to me know, I was actually a bit flat this afternoon. I had a Cairo appointment and I was a bit buggered. And, you know, I was like, ah, I've got to do my live. And 
Anyway, I had my daggy house clothes on and I knew I was coming on to do this. And so I changed my top and I had some daggy bottoms on. I was thought, oh, I'll just do the newsreader thing. Nobody will see. And I was confession at the last second. I thought, nope. I went and chucked some shorts on that exactly go with my branding. Not that you're going to see them, but I had to make sure that I was doing what I said I was going to do because I'm congruent, you're congruent, and yeah. Guys, I had a ball. Thank you very much. Hey, next week, special location for next week's Confessions of a Conveyancer. I am bringing a really interesting specialist on board, but it's not what you think it is. It's going to be really exciting. Um, I think you're really going to enjoy it. And for those people out there that are a little bit kind of designing about the houses, interior, decorating, things like that, this one's going to be for you. It's going to be a heap of fun. Different location. Gizmo can definitely not come to this location. But yeah. Thanks for joining in. Uh, don't forget Instagram stories. Follow along. I'm almost dropping heaps of stuff there as well. Share this out to anyone that you think can benefit. Because remember what I said, 11 decisions in seven seconds. So you need to make sure that people are making the right decisions about you because you do not want to make it harder for yourself to make that sale, get that promotion, or even relationships, make that friendship, going on a date. That's a good one. All right, gang, pleasure as always. See ya.